How's it going, JDM crew? Just enjoying some coffee here while I'm cruising out into the farmlands. What better way to introduce this good old SUV, which by the way, got a diesel here. So you got the 3.0 liter diesel, turbo diesel, of course, four wheel drive and all that goodness. I've only got a red line of a little over 4,000 RPM, so it's a real diesel. Revving is a distant concept here. I gotta let that truck go, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one, I definitely wanted to try out the suspension here because there's a lot of dips in the road. A lot of farm vehicles, tractors go across in this area, so it's kind of messed up the road a bit. But, yeah, this handled it just fine. Now, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, I'm John, and this is JDM Expo. We do inventory videos here, and today's vehicle happens to be an Isuzu Bighorn. And uh, it's up there in class with other SUVs like the Land Cruiser. So a lot of people don't know about this, but it does exist. It is a thing. Check this out. Yeah, that torque. Oh, I love diesels. Really good time. Yeah, the only thing that has a little bit more torque than this would be electric motors from zero RPM, really. Otherwise, yeah, diesels are the way to go. I'm not towing anything. I don't even have a ski rack or anything like that, but uh, no winch. Just, uh, it's just SUV. I got this uh, bicyclist right here. He should be going, yep, yeah, there he's going that way. Share the road, guys. Remember that, share the road. Ah, oh, yeah, there it is, that torque. Whee! Up to the speed limit real quick. Just cruising along. Also, if you guys aren't familiar, diesels are a bit more efficient than gasoline, so definitely I'm cruising at a lower RPM or even barely idling and just going at regular road speeds. Uh, a little bit more at highway speeds, you know, obviously because I'm this big box moving down the highway, but yeah, overall, this is uh, very comfortable, uh, much higher. So uh, just like American SUVs, the JDM SUVs are definitely sitting a bit higher. Quite pleasant, good view. I mean, I could see across the river there. I could see into the farms over here. See this truck right here, what's up? Yeah, it's a good time. And um, this thing is bone stock. Uh, no mods as far as I can tell. You can check with the sales team though. I think the suspension might have been modified, but I'm pretty sure it's OEM. Uh, we do have a Pioneer, is that Pioneer? Yeah, I think that's Pioneer Audio Deck. I can't see it right now because I'm still driving along here. I got this uh, Panasonic Navi station, which is good. Uh, Strata is what it's called. But yeah, this uh, really comfortable riding through uh, just regular roads and on the highway here. I'll, I'll get up onto like a four lane road or something, get the speed up a bit. But we do have larger tires on here, so uh, I believe they're light truck tires or mud tires, so definitely much nicer as I just kind of roll along here. Uh, plenty of room, by the way, and I'll show you later whenever we're going through the interior because definitely um, it's a whole lot of people. We've got the usual five. We've got two in front, three in the back, but technically you can have two or three more in the very back as fold-down seats which is really cool. So you got cargo space or extra seats, it's up to you. We got the spare tire I could see in my rear view mirror. It's on the back door. It's not just merely a hatch, it's, it's pretty much two doors there, so nice and big. Definitely plenty of space here though. It is an automatic, but hey, uh, I've also got the uh, four wheel drive controls here to uh, get a little bit more precise with the uh, gearing there, but all in all, I just have it in high gear, so we got rear wheel drive only currently, not four wheel drive. You can definitely lock the differential with this, so a lot of features that you four wheel drive guys are familiar with. If you're new to it, I definitely recommend you check it out. It's good to know about how uh, the differentials work and all the different ways you can maneuver these things. If you wanna go climbing, uh, I don't think this is ready for it, but definitely you could modify it for that sort of thing. So yeah, Isuzu is very known for a lot of heavier vehicles, even though um, in the States it's kind of mixed variety. You've got the trucks and you've got the smaller cars. And uh, some of you guys might even know like the old Pathfinder, which was also the, I think that was the Nissan Frontier, if I'm not mistaken. Definitely like the smaller crossovers. 
smaller SUVs. Yeah, definitely the handling characteristics are really nice with this. Um, it's very responsive. Um, but it has enough give. It's, a, it's definitely great for uh, on the road or off the road. But as you can see, I'm just definitely taking you guys for a tour of the farms here. Uh, when we get to the warehouse, I'll definitely give you guys the walk around on there. This thing's pretty awesome all around. Uh, but as I mentioned, it doesn't have a certain number of other accessories. It doesn't have a ski rack. It doesn't have like any uh, bars and stuff all around. So um, it doesn't even have a sidestep on there. So you don't have like the extra space. It's not too hard to get in um, unless you're really small, but that's okay. Um, if you're anywhere in the five to six foot range, it's pretty much easy just to just slide in or just hop up into the seats here. So uh, whenever you jump off, it's not like you have to repel off of this. So definitely uh, it's very manageable. But yeah, definitely like the, uh, well right now I'm just using the fan because it's actually a little chilly outside. Uh, but the AC definitely works really good. Yeah, with the diesel, um, we actually have a few spots on here. So it's not a 24 volt system as some larger diesels can be. It's actually a 12 volt system, so it's very normal. Uh, so you could take it to a regular service shop and not have to worry about any compatibility issues. So something for those of you to note in case uh, you're used to like larger diesels. So this one is pretty normal. Uh, we do have a, twin, what was that, uh, like 100 watt, 12 volt uh, jack in the back there so if you guys hook up accessories if you want a fridge inside definitely this thing has got plenty of options here but uh, as it is like for mostly stock I mean uh, all I've got is the Navi station here and a little cup holder edition and that's it in the audio deck um, I think the speakers are still OEM so yeah take that as you will um, I would probably recommend newer speakers because of the age of the vehicle especially if you want a really good sound system but yeah overall though the drivability is very nice with this i've got the uh, decent large side mirrors i actually have like a small one on the corner in the front there so if you guys are kind of like maneuvering around you know in the parking lots don't have to worry about that too much um doesn't have a camera in the back but for the most part like you could probably manage there's pretty good visibility all around so if you guys are concerned with that we got you covered and here I'll just accelerate a good bit up to speed limit. And there we go, we're already at the speed limit, so <laughs> plenty of torque. And even for as heavy as a vehicle as this is, uh, it's not too heavy, um, but it is heavier than your average cars. Uh, really, really nice and smooth. As you can tell, I've been driving around the farms and it's just a good time, so. I love the visibility though. That's definitely, I don't know, maybe I'm just getting old, but um, plenty of sports car experience, but and, you know, it's kind of nice to just cruise around and have a look at the uh, environment. I'd definitely take this on road trips if I had one. Well, uh, that's it for the drive along though. Uh, just hope you get a good impression of this. Uh, it's only got a little over 71,000 kilometers, so that's really nothing, especially for a diesel like this. So uh, yeah, let's uh, head over to the warehouse and fast forward to that and I'll show you guys around. All right, starting from the interior here got the dash here I've already popped the hood open so we can just jump right into the engine bay here in a little bit show you the mileage here get the key just a little over 71,000 as you can see there and that was the ETC reader so uh, and the little navy system but uh, as you can tell, quite a bit of room. Uh, as you can see in the back, we actually have trunk space because we folded up the chairs for this video. But uh, plenty of room, as you can see. Lots of leg room. And also for the driver's side, there's a small vent right there, so keep your feet cool or warm in the winter time so you decide <laughs> well what's really cool here is uh, being a diesel got plenty of power as you can see uh, clear coats in pretty good shape there quite shiny I'll just show you guys the back here 
as you can see the headliners really good condition there and here's some of the room in the back so uh, I'll go uh, around to the back so you guys can see that but all the door panels and everything oh, got a bit of glare from the Sun here I got some chrome <laughs> on the uh, spare tire cover there nice and shiny yeah, here we go and we've got tinted windows all around so nice and comfortable keep that uh, climate control whether in the uh, summer or winter it's not a big deal so as you can see plenty of room got an accessory socket right there so if you need uh, some devices to be powered put a fridge back here or something it's all good So definitely very interesting. Uh, this one doesn't have a winch, but you could definitely add all different racks that you might want or you know, different powered components if you really want those. So as far as I know, this is stock height but you can definitely lift this or lower it, it's up to you. Oh, you got four wheel drive system and everything, so very nice. But yeah, that diesel efficiency, I mean, this thing is just very comfortable to drive. As you can tell, this one doesn't have a rack on it, so. We'll look at the exterior one more time after I get out of the engine bay here, but I definitely wanted to show you this because it is a 3.0 liter diesel dual overhead cam plenty of torque and power There's some additional information for you if you guys are curious and so Isuzu makes a lot of different diesels and they also do heavy machinery as well so you can expect quite a bit of reliability out of this. As you can see the turbo there with the top mount intercooler. And this is a 12 volt system so it's not like some larger vehicles that might have 24 volt or you know, diesel systems with 24 volt so nothing really complicated about this at all. So you get that diesel reliability and heavy duty, but uh, not as much of a pain as some of the more complicated systems, which uh, might be harder for some people to maintain, but yeah, for this, uh, you can get typical oil changes at a regular service station. Uh, some components like the air filter might be a little bit harder to get in some regions if this wasn't available there, but uh, these were available quite reasonably around the world so shouldn't be too hard to get some parts as well all right so I dropped the hood here and I got everything buttoned up so you guys can have a look at how this actually looks very nice styling typical SUV style but man it's definitely really comfortable you can see the exterior is in quite good condition here Yeah, it's kind of funny because the autofocus is picking up a lot of the reflections a lot more than the actual surface, so <laughs> it's definitely in pretty good shape. And it's got a good bit of chrome on it too, but uh, definitely an interesting SUV. You can't deny the four-wheel drive capability is really good. It's also got the summer and winter modes for the drivetrain. So uh, if you're driving on snow and stuff, it has a little bit more give on the rotation of the different wheels so that you don't end up slipping, but also it puts enough power where you need it. So 
yeah, there we have it. The Zuzu Bighorn. Well, there you have it, crew. Another fine SUV. And uh, you might remember some of the other ones previously if you've been around the channel for the uh, last couple of years. We've definitely had other SUVs come through here and different crossover vehicles, but uh, definitely this one is a little bit larger. And uh, you might remember some of the Land Cruisers we've had in the past, as well as like Mitsubishi Delica. Uh, well, Jimny's don't count because those are mini, but uh, you know, different four wheel drive vehicles have come through here. But definitely, this one's pretty comfortable. So uh, if you guys haven't considered a JDM SUV, definitely uh, check them out. Um, but definitely a lot of the four wheel drive guys know about a lot of different JDM four wheel drive vehicles. So a lot of them are of age now to be exported to the US. So um, you guys definitely have options now. So uh, as always guys, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, if you have some four wheel drive friends that are curious about such things, definitely forward this video over to them. If you have any questions, contact our sales team info at jdm-expo.com. They'll be able to get back to you within about 24 hours. Also, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all DMs go to them, and they'll be able to answer any questions that you might have about this or the import process. Uh, depending on which country you are, uh, things differ from place to place, so uh, if they don't have the answer, some of our partner shops might be able to help you out with that as well overseas. So. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.